Welcome to the bold analysis. Miguna Miguna, I call him Janyando, sneaked back in the country. And of course he blocked me in Twitter and I can also ask you sasa ni unblock Janyando. Siasa imeisha. Yeah, ile mafurahi zimeisha maybe. He blocked me in Twitter and so I could not keep tabs with what's going on. And I could not know his errands, but a good friend of mine, um, Mary uh, Onyango, sent me a photo that I want to share with you that provoked my thoughts because he asked me, Kumbe, Kevin Miguna Lirudi. <laughs> and this has been very silent, not even the mainstream, and many people had really captured about the comeback of Miguna Miguna. And this is the photo you are seeing in your screen. This photo was taken somewhere here in town, um, here in Nairobi. It is a meeting, as you can see, um, to the far left next to Miguna is Okoto Bado. Miguna, my good friend Betty Adera, was Miss, um, Miss President, I think in Ketia News. Um, Elwido Alo, would be shop, the ICTCS. I've forgotten this could be Elizabeth Tongoro or not Tongoro, um, the former Kisumu women, if I'm not wrong, the other guy I cannot catch well. The Jack Ranguma, they can see far end is the noisy Elud um noisy Owidi, it is Ota, uh Eddie Anyanga, the other person I cannot see. This meeting was held in preparation for the upcoming William Ruto's tour in Homer Bay and Sea County. William Ruto, the last time he went there, he was went to Homer Bay, but then he's also going there. He's going back there. He's expected to be in, he's expected in Homer Bay on Friday for the official launch of affordable housing project. The last time he was there, there was a bit of an uproar because the county leadership kept off, uh, including the governor who said she was in Mombasa, that is Gladys Wanga. And after that, on Saturday, I understand she, he's supposed to be, uh, he's supposed to, I think there is also another project in my county of Sierra and attend a Thanksgiving ceremony for Elid Owalo. I know different members of the cabinet have been organizing them. And this is the first one first thanksgiving from members of his cabinet that is going to attend in person quite a number of few that had been organized only rigiji was attending and so uh, you would understand why rigiji would not maybe go to nyanza at this time it's understandable kindly subscribe to our channel click the notification bell and also like our video i want to say thank you very much for those who support us from different parts of the world I want us to make some quick observations from that photo. And from that photo, you can see no a single elected Nyanza leader there. So, you know, in Kenya, Kwanza, one of the only elected, two elected Nyanza leaders that have been so close with Ruto is Ugenya MP, David Uchen, and I think Kisumu Town East, Shakir Shaber. Those are the ones, and Karoli Omondi, I think he's also there. If I'm not wrong, he was part of that delegation. And uh, the other observation here is, there is no head of state functions. My former boss in uh, Standard Group, Michael Gitonga, he worked in the office, from there he worked in the office of the First Lady, but then he's the current head of state functions. I've not seen any representative from that. Of course, all those are faces, familiar faces. No single county government staff, either from Siaya or Homer Bay. <laughs> chief of staff in Homer Bay is I think is the former Ramugi FM. The communication of chief of staff, Ramugi FM, Ramugi FM, I've not seen him there. In Siaya is the former uh, chief of staff of the national government, that is Rasuguna. I've also not seen him or anyone there. The other person is no Evan Skidero. <laughs> Evan Skidero is also part of this team, these were the Nyanza Rebel Caucus. And of course, there was an attempt at one point 
for Kidero to team up with with with, um, with 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 Miguna, but it didn't come to fruition. And I remember at one point, um, Kidero attended a church service with President Ruto in Embo. So one day they traveled was with President Ruto in a church service in Embo. If I'm not wrong, I remember at one point. No Evans Kidero, it's not a coincidence. Then no representative from the Ministry of Infrastructure, PS or anyone from there. In short, in Lua there is something called Jodonga H. I am using that word. That apart from Elido Alo, who has some who has foot portfolio and can be there in his capacity as ICT, CS, and not that is not his work, but of course as someone who is from that region, from the Nyanza region and the president is attending there, he's, he's the person who is the most focal point, is the most focal voice in that place. All those people surrounding Walo are the Jodonga H. <laughs> Jodonga H means they are, they are looking for, Jodonga H is compact majority, yeah? Compact majority are these people that are going to around you tell you you've got it, you you are going to win it, you people love you this. These people who cheat you around you and you don't get your people who are looking for their stomach. <laughs> that's what that's what it is. So I've I've seen there, but I want to just single out one thing. Miguna Miguna is part of that delegation. Remember, he's been absent. For quite some time, I am one person that analyzed his absence here, and I know when I analyzed, people are like, "Oh, it was propaganda here and there," because he left and went to UK, and then from that he went to Canada. But since left, went never came back, and he came back silently. You know, we are not used to a silent comeback. Huh? Yeah, but but those who follow his Twitter pages are, are trying to ask also tell me that he's toned down. But then you can confirm he's toned down on this. Useless, reckless, anti rail and Uhuru ranks. They were actually unnecessary. They were they had become boring, and um, they were not offering any solution. In fact, they were just the normal rhetorics. So he went. Miguna is a man who doesn't come back very silently, but this time round he came back silently. So what are we seeing? They, I want to first look at three possibilities, and I've narrowed down to Meguna. There are three poss possibilities on his presence in that meeting, or rather his presence in come back, coming back. Eli Duano could have roped in Miguna Miguna um, to attend especially the function, the, the Thanksgiving function in CIA, because that's a personal function of, um, of, of the CS. What would be shocking and would not be a very good precedence is, is if a Thanksgiving ceremony is also a state function. A Thanksgiving ceremony organized by a CS or a government or a civil servant is also a state function simply because president is attending. Or what is a state function? A state function is every function that president attends. <laughs> Maybe we'll, have, we'll, we'll know that with time. So there could be... Elio Dewalo roped him in, but still it ties up to the fact that even if Elio Dewalo is supposed to rope Miguna in Ruto's Nyanza tour, it can't happen without the consent of President Ruto because Ruto, with the caliber of Miguna and the kind of controversy, controversies around Miguna, it is not just a decision we just make without the consent of the boss. Number two, Miguna could have regrouped with those the Donga H, the, 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 the Donga H team. He, one of the challenges that he faced when he came back, and we said was reintegration in terms of who is going to be with him. He doesn't have a political party, so doesn't have a group. He doesn't have a lobby group. He doesn't have a following that we're to He doesn't have a position in government. So who to consolidate? Integration became more much of a problem. And I think in his first comeback, when he came back, when, when, when he came on October, the president and also his team, the priority was just him coming back for the sake of the moment. And, you know, we've got freedom. And so those people who are in exile are coming back. You know, he, he just came or he just attended that. He came back on 20th during the, um, I think, Mashinja Day, just to be a guest of the day, you know, for, for a gig. Come on, and a musician and could perform. Just something like that. 
So while back here, there was no plan. So how he could merge and regroup with people became of a problem. I even understand that somewhere he was staying, you know, there, there was nothing. And when the interview stopped, then he became rudderless. So Miguna could still have decided to stick back quickly and after getting glimpse of this tour by the president so that this tour finds him around and he can also organize with that team. Lastly, Ruto called Miguna to escort him to Nyanza. I don't know. Of those three options, between Owalo, roping in Miguna, Miguna making his own effort to regroup with this group of Jodongaich, or Ruto calling him to escort him to Nyanza. Which one do you take for? If you ask me, me, I narrow down to one thing. That whether it is Owalo or who, but Miguna Miguna being tagged in President Ruto's tour in Nyanza must get the nod of the state house team. It must get the nod of the state house operative. And um, those three possibilities are all there. Um, this, this tour, I still don't want to speculate. Of course, there are political intrigues, but there have been a lot of groundwork that have been done. And Elwood Owando, we analyzed the other time that he was donating relief food in Nyanza to soften the grounds and to show that, you know, things, the president cares for these people. But I want to take a minute and speak to my little brothers that the Nyanza, uh, let me call them rivalry rebels, these, 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 no, not Nyanza rebels, these people who lost election and some did not run in the last general election, these people, these leaders, uh, so good I've not seen my one of my best potential governor, Nicholas Odero Gumbo, not there. These people are going to take a narrative to you that we brought Ruto to Nyanza. I think we need to debunk that narrative. It's already they have already seen it somewhere. The Ulido is making noise saying to Mewaletea Rais, you know, immediately President Jets comes then leaves there. They will be all over in the streets, in the social media streets, telling the Nyanza region that, you know what, Raila refused, so we brought William Ruto here. No! Let us not buy that nonsense. It's total nonsense. The reason I'm saying is this. President Ruto was in Homer B. That was the first place he went. And uh, I think he attended some church function there. And promised that you'll be back for affordable housing project. Affordable housing project is not something that was started by President Ruto now. That is a project that was backed by former President Uhuru Kenyatta in the handshake arrangement with Raila Odinga. But it is a national government thing that do not need the note of Jadongaich here. So these people should not start lecturing Nyanza voters. Galebo, some few villagers here that they brought Ruto to Nyanza. That's not it. The point is, they are escorting Ruto to Nyanza. In fact, apart from Elidohalo, all those other people, they don't have access to the president. Even telling you that we talk to the president, nini, nini. what them and me to go to Pomoja. <laughs> so there is nothing like they have brought it, and I've seen that narrative. Now, a Thanksgiving ceremony is organized by Lidio Wando. And of course, I also realize Orengo is not, and by the way, a big secret to you, Orengo is not, he's very cozy with President Ruto because he's been Ruto's lawyer for quite some time. Even currently, there's still cases that Rangas are doing for Ruto. Now, the baseline here is Meguna is going to be Nyanza. I want to make three observations. The presence of Beguna in William Ruto's uh, itinerary or convoy is a test of tolerance. They just want to know, so what is the mood in Nyanza? When Beguna is there, they, they will be, I can tell you the intelligence will be gathering a lot of how, what the people think about Meguna Meguna. So that Ruto would make, from, from the test of tolerance, popularity, and how it will do, Ruto would make a very conscious choice from that on how he can form a Nyanza camp around Meguna with or 
uh, without uh, Elidowalo. Either he goes Miguna, Elidowalo, or Miguna Lord. Fr from that tour, they're going to gather a lot, and it's just going to be a pilot to see what they can do. If he goes there, or in his presence, that's one of the observations I'm making there, that they want to test the level of tolerance. And I can tell our people, number one, I wish I had time. I would have gone to my home, county of Siaya, when president is going there, to Karibisha Rais, to Karibisha Miguna. Let's not do dramas. It's, we, we've, we've, we've outgrown, we have reframe. In fact, I can promise you, my good people of Siaya will no problem. But then where Ruto will be, if he goes to that Thanksgiving, it will be in Rarieda. Rarieda is the home, it's not very far from Opona Farm, Rarieda's place. Not Opona Farm, but um, Bondo. Miguna is looking for access to the president, and it's simple. These are just lobby efforts. Big. These people are looking for jobs. And all of them want access to the president. Um, although we had tried to say every nasty things around about Raila and Kenyatta and the family and, 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 and Kenyatta and the Raila family, rather Gingo Dinga family. But I don't think it still not it still lacks the spark. Now when they realized that the president is going to Oma Bay and Kunahi, and maybe they have tried to ask Eludoalo to lobby for them, and it's not easy, they are simply out and about asking and lobbying for themselves. They should also not cheat you that they are lobbying for any development for you. They are not elected. They cannot be given any money. Even if Ruto is to build a road, they cannot be given anything. It, they can't be given. There are nothing they can lobby for the community. Nothing. These people are there lobbying for their jobs. That's my take. I don't know what you think, guys. So I'll still come back with analysis on the William Brutus tour in Yanza.